टाइटल स्पॉन्सर खलती डिजिटल वॉलेट सरल भुक्तानी सही भुक्तानी खलती पैसा को नया ठेगाना सपोर्टेड बाय समृद्धि को लागी सिविल बैंक सुलभ हेल्प सो टेल मी व्हाट ब्रिंग्स यू हियर टुडे ह्यूमन वेयर आर यू हेडिंग For a long drive in the highway when this gentle breeze is ruffling your hair to and fro when the old country songs are making up your playlist and this white spotted lines you are chasing to reach nowhere in particular i'm your escape home plan the next day when you miss your home and this bumpy off road shortcut you take to reach home faster yes i am the streets the roads wide open the narrow alleys the long breezes and built in number of ways smoothly paced or stone paved or metal knots and strings are nothing but mud rock sand stone dust see i'm built in so many ways just the way you humans are but unlike you i have not forgotten the power of unity even though their sex do not fit in my ends meet and hold each other tightly to create a better world for you after long when you finally realize that you are one your sufferings are one i let you pass by me as a mass or a movement i shatter and bear the wounds of explosions you cause i let you be the history while i silently sink into oblivion I am the journey. I do not care whether you drive an expensive glossy car or you walk barefoot. I will take you somewhere. My life is served to build connections from people to people, cliff to cliff, cradle to grave and so many places in between. Sometimes I diverse and narrate you the stories of detachment. I sing you the pain and just when you think this is the end I step into a new junction and let you change the direction I have been home for the abandoned since ages so in life to those you left behind to die and yet you blame my curve and ages for taking your life away How dare you bury your mistakes underneath my name How dare you claim me unsafe How dare you speed on my face over and over again After all these things you do to me I do not ask for justice Instead I stand once more firm and kind enough to let you step and walk over my chest Poor human do not mistake my kindness for fragility All it takes is little more kindness to make this world a better place to live in For evidence of my generosity I have been waiting for you from decades and centuries I will be waiting for you till the end zone of time in shapes I'm not yet built But for now tell me what brings you here human Where are you heading today Social studies the last period for the day Sixth grade students are memorizing a chapter line by line. That's what schools here refer to learning by heart. Our country Nepal is written on the board. Every student is expected to take their turn and say out loud what they have memorized. A student in the first bench explains how Nepal was unified by King Prithvi Narayan Saha and metaphored Nepal as a flower garden where four castes and 36 subcastes blossom forth. In the last bench of the left corner a boy sits alone because he is called untouchable by the society for the caste he belongs to. No one in this class is told every flower should be nurtured and cared equally for a garden to be beautiful. After a few minutes someone stands and says, "The area of Nepal is 147,181 square kilometer." She has no idea how close the border fort will be shifted next time she repeats this calculation. Next boy in the row raises his hand and talks about national flower and color. A boy next to him touches the picture of red 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 rendon and patch of crimson on his book. 
He assumes his widowed mother as traitor for never wearing red. A girl with loud voice explains what the sun and the moon in the national flag signify. After gazing at the flag for quite a long time, a red boy is almost asleep now. What do the sun and the moon signify in a life where both days and nights are dark of poverty? Then, a girl mentions Nepal is a patriarchal society, but does not understand why her father takes every decision in the family when her mother is told to shut up. A boy lists out number of prospects of Nepal, but dreams about settling in a foreign country. One after another, the voices keep coming, like noises from empty vessels, who do not know they are empty. There is a quiet girl in the last bench of right corner. She has scribbled something at the back page of her copy which reads, A country inside me, but mentions nothing about it. The teacher asks her to name things that constitute a country. Government, population, sovereignty, territory. She replies not knowing what these heavy words actually mean. The bell rings. It has been more than a decade now. I still have that copy, the back page of which now reads, Sir, I find a country inside me, sovereign and densely populated by dreams, thoughts and emotions. And every time you cramped us to memorize a chapter line by line, you encroach territory of my creativity, my dreams.